card I'm going to show you today is with a Stampin' Up! promotion that is just for this month, July 2012. And the promotion and stamp set that go with it is called Reason to Smile. Um, this stamp set here is a new one, Sassy Salutations. And I'm going to use the thank you out of this set. So I just wanted to show you all the other greetings that come with this set um, before I set this aside to start stamping. So the Reason to Smile is this stamp set right here. It's got seven different pieces that coordinate together. This is the piece I'm going to use for this card today. Now the special thing about this Reason to Smile stamp set is that it's only available this month and it's only five dollars. It's five dollars when you make a fifty dollar order. So you can order fifty dollars of any product you would like out of our new catalog and being that our catalog just uh, came out, the new one, it will not be hard for you to find $50 worth of product that you would like. So order $50 and you get this stamp set for just $5. I'm inking this up on my basic gray ink pad and then I'm going to stamp it right down on a piece of Whisper White cardstock that is two inches by three and a quarter inches. And I'm going to color with pink pirouette and certainly celery. So I'm just going to use the brush end. Each of our markers has a brush end and a fine point end. Most of the time I use the brush end. And anything that's dual tipped like this, you want to store horizontally. If you store it up like this, a lot of times you see people put their markers and things in a cup or some cute little container like that. But what's going to happen is the end that's up will dry out. So you want to keep them more in a drawer or um, in some type of case that can lay horizontal. So I'm just going to quickly with the brush end add some color to the petals of our flower. And that's the reason I do use the brush end more frequently is because it just adds the color so much faster than if I went through with the fine point end. So just add that on all of the petals. And then I'll go back with the Certainly Celery. Um, again, I'm using the brush end and just color the base here and the stem. And this is the focal point for our card. So I'm going to take a piece of pink pirouette cardstock, just a little bit bigger than this. The pink pirouette is two and a quarter inches by three and a half. And I'm going to put some snail adhesive on the back of this layer and center it right onto this piece. This I will pop onto our actual card with dimensional. So I'll go ahead and put those on right now and peel them off in just a moment. The base of the card today is also pink pirouette. It's eight and a half inches by five and a half. And I just line up the edges, the corners, use the bone folder to get a good crisp fold. Now one other piece that I'm going to stamp is this little piece of Whisper White. It's three and a half inches by seven eighths. So just a little bit under one inch. And this is from that Sassy Salutations. It's that thank you. Again, inking it up on basic gray. And just stamping it here. And then I'm going to take some of our small paper snips and just notch in the corner. Like that. And then for another layer, I've got this piece right here that is basic gray, and it is four inches by five and a quarter inches. And I'm going to add some texture on this. So I'm going to pull my big shot over quick. This is one of our new embossing folders called Chevron, and I'm going to use the basic gray cardstock right inside there. And you'll see after I crank it through the awesome texture that it puts on this cardstock and just the deep grooves that it creates. So I'll pull it out here, and you can see there's just really a lot of depth in those zigzags. Okay, let me set this aside. And now we just need to do some layering. So put some snail on the back of this piece and layer that right onto the pink pirouette card. 
And then this piece, I'm going to use my snail adhesive and I'm just going to tuck it down here. Um, it's about an inch up on the gray. And then peel off the back of the dimensionals that I placed on this layer earlier. And I'll just set that right over this part here. So it's a quick and easy card. This Reason to Smile stamp set is very versatile. You can do some different coloring like I did, or with the more solid images here, that makes for great watercoloring options too. Be sure to check out my Facebook page and or my blog. I've got four other cards made with this um, stamp set that I'm actually doing for a class this coming week. So again, this Reason to Smile promotion, only July 2012. You can order right online through my website. Choose $50 of any of our products that you like and get this awesome stamp set for just $5. Thanks so much for watching my video. For daily creative inspiration, visit my blog or find me on Facebook at Jody Reinert Stamps.